Hi, welcome back to my channel. And as you're probably reading in the description, this is a unboxing review as well as a fix for this uh, eSun 3D printing pen I picked up from Micro Center. Original price was about 50 bucks, which is still not bad. But uh, they had a special and they were selling it for 20 bucks. So I figured, what the heck, it was time to pick one up, right? I always viewed these things as maybe like a tool that I can use to fix any printing defects, fill in holes, kind of like that kind of stuff and I never really put much trust into them because well you got a nozzle and an extruder all in one body with some electronics in there and uh, there's some faults to this but it's actually overall it's a pretty darn good product I have to say and uh, I'll show you. Well, I already cracked the box open. Original price was 50 bucks over there. They had it for 20. This is what it looks like. Comes in with some basic manuals. They tell you how to set the temperature. Here's the pen. It's actually fairly ergonomic. It's a little thick, but it's pretty ergonomic. And I've, I've used this quite a bit to the point where I broke it and then I fixed it again. Um, Comes in with an AC adapter, which I believe is 12 volt 2 amp. It's actually pretty beefy, it's 24 watts. And it comes in with some PLA wrapped up like this. Alright, next up, I'll show you how to use it. Since my artistic skills are not that great, I picked up a couple of these sample bags for a penny from Micro Center of PLA. I don't generally buy PLA, I generally buy ABS but uh, I'm gonna use those sample packs to play around with this. It's a lot less um, annoying than uh, using a roll. The other thing is this pen is actually designed for both ABS and PLA so don't think you have to only use PLA. It'll get hot enough to melt ABS as well. All right, let's run through the features. First of all, this little hole is where the filament goes, and the next one over is where the power goes. Plug it in, it actually boots up. It's set for PLA. If you hold these two buttons together, you can choose ABS. And you can start off at 230, and you can add on temperature or remove as you need. Since I'm doing PLA, I like about 180 C on PLA. And then all you have to do is press the forward button and it starts to heat up. It heats up very quickly. That's the forward, that's the back button. This is the feed speed. The forward one is the one that uh, adds to the speed. The backward one is the one that well, the back one is the one that uh, reduces the speed of the gear motor inside. A uh, little spoiler, this is not a stepper. It's a DC gear motor without feedback at all. The thing is, this thing will not feed any filament in there until you reach temperature. So after that, you literally just shove it in there and hold the forward button. With that said, there is no fast feed option, and I leave it on speed 6 even when I'm using it, so that's the end of it. It takes about 30 seconds or so to actually feed the filament in, in all the way through the body and out of the head. Um, the tip seems to be made out of ceramics. I'm not sure what the size is, but it's definitely over half a mil. It may be 0 0.6, 0 0.7 mil. I am not sure. Uh, since filament tends to swell up when it comes out of the nozzle, it it's probably not going to matter much uh, what the size is because at the end of the day, it's not, uh, it's not accurate to measure the filament. I would say the nozzle is uh, between half and one mil. And that's it. I was feeding it a blue plastic before. I got rid of it. It purged. 
and now time to use it. Using it is straightforward. The back button over here is really only used to unload the filament. It's really not used to, you know, retract the filament much. Uh, the speed button is the feed rate. It's uh, 1 through 6 and the temperature I have set is 180 C so let's see how she does being that this is PLA it sticks well to paper and I like nice thick lines with it so it's just like using any other pen and uh, so on and so forth I'll show you a few things in a few okay here's the result not bad it does stick to paper rather well ABS that is, uh, PLA that is but uh, it's actually pretty acceptable it's unique and no, you can't. You don't do just flat things. I mean, stuff like this. Um, this was me trying to see if I can actually print straight up or at an angle, so on and so forth. And yes, you can. Uh, mixing of colors is quite possible. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want. It takes patience. This is um, PLA, so it's actually fairly brittle. As far as materials go, but uh, it is a good. It's a good toy, I have to say. The other thing that I have to mention is that the pen, if you stop using it for a couple of minutes, it goes into sleep mode. And um, basically it turns off the hot end. What I recommend is to give it to your child. Mm, depends on how old the child is and how responsible the child is and do you want him to play with something that can reach in excess of 250 celsius I don't know that's really up to your discretion I wouldn't do it but then again I'm a little bit nervous when it comes to kids and playing with high heat stuff I've burned myself a couple of times touching this nozzle um, it wasn't like a serious burn or anything like that but you know I could actually feel the heat so it wasn't it wasn't that great now I did have one problem with this uh, it's actually a very nicely built unit but it does have one big issue is that the gear that actually feeds this um, filament in there actually came out of the shaft and it's actually a press fit so I did get the warranty on this I got like two year warranty but it wasn't really worth me going in there so I'm gonna take it apart and I'll show you guys what I mean alright so let's take it apart there's really one screw externally and it's right here and all it is is a Phillips screw Pop that out like so and the back comes out now I don't know if mine was a dud or what it was but uh, see that's the little motor it's uh, about four or five times the size of a vibrator motor in one of those old beepers uh, that people used to carry in the 90s most of you guys probably never even seen those things but in either case that's the cold end portion of it and there's three screws over here as well the actual uh, the actual extruder is um, it's very nicely built all metal construction which uh, I was surprised I have to say for this price bracket even at 50 bucks I didn't expect the all metal extruder but it is I guess it would have to be to be this miniaturized 
and this part comes out providing that all the screws are loosened bear with me while I fumble with this and there we go that's the extruder and you can actually even take it apart even further just pull the extruder off and there it is it's a miniature gearbox and the reduction is ridiculous I can't even turn this with my fingers so and it's got these little sharp teeth that's the gear I was telling you about and this thing is set with some sort of seal or whatever it was and um, what it did was the actual gear came up and it wasn't feeding filament anymore so I thought I broke it after fe feeding maybe two rolls like this through it I thought I broke it so what which I did I opened it up a drop of uh, super glue on the shaft press this on there quickly all it has to do is go flat with the shaft and uh, hold on to it for 30 seconds a minute put it back together and she'll be right as rain and you won't have any problems it even has a little miniature idler bearing here it is very impressive the way this thing is designed and built it is very impressive um, feels like a very polished product it doesn't feel like a complete toy um, I honestly think for the money it's a great introduction to 3d printing an absolutely great introduction to 3d printing um, I give it two big thumbs up uh, for something at this price point to be this good regardless of the issues it is possible that I got a dud or I'm a little bit too rough with it it doesn't really matter uh, but uh, at the end of the day it is an excellent product and it was easy to repair once I did break it so at that point I don't know what to tell you other than uh, go get one um, I believe Micro Center still has the deal going if they don't just watch out I'll be back I mean an awesome toy the other thing um, I forgot to mention previously was that the actual refill rolls for this because I don't want to use a one kilo roll of filament dragging it behind a lightweight device is um, these sample rolls that Micro Center sells and yes that is the correct price one penny uh, people buy these uh, I've seen people buy a, over a hundred of them depending what they want to do but yeah get a couple of packs I mean don't be greedy allow other people to share and share alike kind of deal you know it's uh, it's not the end of the world that you have to buy a full kilo roll of filament on your own but these sample packs are great for refilling these that makes it the, the cheapest 3d printing experience on the planet I mean literally for $25 you got um, you, not even $25 what am I saying it's like between 22 and 23 dollars you got basically like 20 of these rolls let's say plus taxes and whatever else and the warranty a two-year warranty for two bucks you, you really can't beat this it, it's it's uh, it's great that's why I took some time and uh, made a video even though I'm still not out of the woods yet I've had uh, a lot of things I, that were taking my time so this evening I sat down and finally did this review this has been in my possession for about two weeks now so while you're hearing me talk I'm, I'm showing you how to reassemble this and uh, yes the connectors are actually different one is power the other one is uh, for the motor and even the wiring is high quality these are silicon co covered wires it's not bad not bad 
the little microcontroller in there controls everything. Uh, the only thing I could say is that the temperature does fluctuate 3 or 4 C and I haven't been able to get the tip off. I believe the tip is uh, replaceable on these things but I couldn't tell you. Uh, I haven't been able to get the tip off so I mean even if this thing breaks I just take it back to the store and have them give me another one. So it's not a big deal. In either case, share, subscribe, and uh, tell me what you think. Look below. Give me your opinions. And uh, I'm glad to be back. Bye.